The objective of Burning Man is always to change who we are so that we can show up differently in the world and change ourselves and then change the world. What is different this year is that the obstacle of decompression is much different. We have been expressing the burn in the default world all week. So the only difference between yesterday during Burning Man and today not during Burning Man is some story, some narrative. So we can change the narrative such that we are always able to be our highest selves, to practice the 10 principles, to find networks of support and community, to challenge ourselves to break out of our patterns and our scripts, to be the voices of encouragement to others who are stepping into scary territory of creativity or authenticity. And we can stretch into the default world more and more in these bright and vibrant and creative ways. The only reason not to do it today is because, you know, something written on your Google Calendar? You're the same person. We still have access to the same people. We still have the same truth inside us. So I really challenge you to think about integration. How can you continue? What are the projects that you can do in your world, in your community with your friends that, that exercise that part of you? This was the first year we didn't have to go somewhere to go home. It just took an arrangement of thoughts and ideas. And it, now that you know that, you can arrange your thoughts and ideas to cultivate home every day. I think this has always been the objective of Burning Man. And if we don't grab hold of that possibility now, we are going to be missing a massive opportunity. I know many people was like, I'm taking the year off. Uh, you know, it, it, I, I'm not into digital things or, or, or whatever the story that people said. It's no different than people saying, oh, I don't like the heat. Oh, I don't, I don't want to hang out with a bunch of hippies. Whatever, these are stories. But if you are willing to participate, if you are willing to stretch yourself in whatever way, because really there's no you know, way to burn. It is you finding it the way to be your highest self and your creative self and your supportive self and stretch into your potential and share your gifts. If we can do that, we win. We heal the world. We do what we can. I am so proud of how Burning Man 2020 went. I'm so honored to have been a part of a digital theme camp and share workshops and witness people's growth and it's always about what you put into it, what you bring to it. And if we're willing to participate year round, the magic will continue. So thank you for being you. Thank you for sharing your gifts and showing up. I hope that we can continue to, to burn together. I love you. Welcome home. And I would invite you to stop by the Zoom room that we are still gathering in twice a day, every day. All burn week, noon and six, we gathered. Guess what we're doing today at noon and six? Gathering to integrate, to push each other, to be grateful, to remind each other that the possibility is still there. Our potential is still there. Our gifts are still there to be exercised and expressed. And as we do it and share it, it inspires one another. That's how the burn week is. That's how it should and can continue. So either join us in zoom.hugnation.com or find some other way to keep going, to integrate the power, to integrate the awareness into the world.